All right, so just got back from Home Depot and Lowe's. Got some R30 insulation for the attic. I noticed that it didn't have any baffles. Got some drywall compound to do the texture. And then some other tools. Spent around 250. Probably a little bit less. I gotta return some things though. So let's get this unloaded and start working on this. I made a mistake up there so I used this to take care of the water meter leak that I had earlier in the year or about a month or two ago and this the primer I can use on CVPC but the actual cement is only meant for PVC so I have to take that down and when I went to the store the first time I had bought some extra fittings and I still have some pipe left over so I am going to redo that All right, so I repaired the pipe for the second time. This time with the correct CPVC cement. Now I feel more comfortable closing all of this up and not worrying about at least the portions I replaced leaking. Hopefully there's nothing more. I'm going to remove that one and put a put up new baffles that I purchased. Since it's open, might as well do it. Not even a full piece.
out of ammo. I was able to install three baffles, including that one. I just need to secure that one at the bottom a little bit better on the far left. But other than that, I got these three. And eventually use up this 10 pack, I believe it is, and do some more. So now I'm ready for insulation. All right, so. I have a drywall saw. I am going to, this edge is all crumbling. So I am going to bring it to the next studs. some drywall screws and support that. So I cleaned up some of the mess. Now I have some scrap pieces of 2x4 that I'm going to place along that edge so that the new drywall has something to screw into. I have this portion insulated. I am going to leave it like that. I think I need to put one piece in this space. So I may do that now. And I think on that portion there. But I will leave it like that until I turn on the water. Make sure there's no leaks. And then I'll finish closing this in. And installing the drywall. Drywall's up there, struggled a bit, messed up a few edges, but it's up there. Now tomorrow, we'll do the mudding and see how that goes. Okay, 
I'm just gonna apply this shellac based primer <clears throat> over the paper that way it can seal it and we could apply um, the drywall mud over it oil based and water based paints you will need to let to let dry overnight and this should be dry in about in 45 minutes I believe gonna use this 20 pound 20 minute mix for any of the large gaps I have I have paper and I have the mesh type got some water got my just bought this got this also let's get started Alright, so I use the fast setting to fill in any large gaps because it will dry quicker and not shrink. So, looks messy, but hopefully it will look better with the texture. So now, I'm going to use the all purpose so I can let it dry overnight. Don't use that if you're a beginner, especially a 20 minute one. It dries really quick. All right, so I have a fan so I can blow out whatever dust falls. Have my sander on the pole. We're gonna begin sanding some of these edges. So, pretty happy how it turned out. The last time I did drywall, 
was probably middle school. So we'll see how this texture looks. One thing you need to keep an eye on is the direction that they previously used on the texture brush. So as you can see here, the, the brush is going like this and not like that. So I have to go in that same direction when I do my patch. And hopefully when I'm done, you won't be able to see where the patch is. I have my paint supplies ready. Got some paint prep. Silly Fantasy Max Star blinds. Rolled them up. It's messed off also. So now apply a sealer coat. Already removed some of the masking that 
I have placed. Are you able to tell the big difference from where my repair was and the existing drywall? I know the paint sheen is a little bit different, so that might give it off of where it is, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with the finished result. The only spot that I don't like is this right there. Huge flat spot. So I might fix that before applying the top coat on the ceiling. The whole room is going to be primered. It's going with a different color. We won't have carpet in here anymore. Um, going with some wood floors. So there will be some changes to this room. So stay tuned for the next part. Last night we finished applying the primer. That finishes off the repairs that needed to be done in this room caused by the Arctic blast or however that storm was called. And if you want to see what happens next in this room, please subscribe to the channel and like the video.